Hi, welcome back to Deep Fry Nanny. We're gonna make chicken pot pies today. Black and chicken, broccoli and cheddar cheese pot pies actually. So we're gonna start by making our pie dough a few hours before we're ready to make our pie. At least, you can do this up to like a week in advance. Um, pie dough is just a basic all butter pie dough and this full recipe is going to be linked in the description. It'll be up on deepfriedhoney.com. Uh, normally I would do this by hand, but I have a cut on my left ring finger, so I'm trying to keep my left hand like away from food while I'm cooking, which is as hard as it sounds. Um, but after you've brought your dough together, I actually put a little too much water in mine. You're going to use saran wrap to really bring it into a ball. After it's formed, you're going to cut that in half, wrap those two halves in plastic wrap and form discs. And then you're going to refrigerate them for at least an hour, preferably, you know, two to four hours. In the meantime, we're gonna work on our filling ingredients. We're gonna season our chicken really well. I'm using a chicken breast, two chicken breasts. Um, after you have your chicken all thoroughly coated and all the blackening seasonings, you're gonna grate a carrot. You want it really small and fine. It shouldn't really be noticeable in the final, um, final thing in the pot pie. Chop up your broccoli pretty small. You don't want huge clumps in your pot pie. I mean, if you do, go ahead. Shred your cheese, and then you're gonna work on your chicken. So I cut my chicken up into super small pieces because I think that it tastes better this way. Um, each piece has you know, more surface area, so it gets a little crunchy, and it gets that good flavoring from the cast iron pan and the seasonings. You can definitely just cook your chicken breast whole and cut them up after they are finished and add them to the, the pot pies that way. I've done it before, but I think I like this one better. You do whatever feels right. After your chicken is cooked, you're gonna go ahead and start on your sauce. It begins with a roux of butter, flour, and cornstarch. After that's kind of whisked together into a paste, you're gonna add your milk in batches. The sauce is gonna be seasoned exactly like the chicken was pretty much, but I'm gonna add a little bit of celery salt into it later. And you wanna make sure that you allow this time to thicken between batches of milk. Now, after you have added all of your milk, it's time for the cheese. I'm using sharp cheddar cheese and American cheese slices. You can also use Velveeta or you can use all cheddar. I like the mild creaminess that American adds to this, but you know, this is up to you. It's your kitchen, right? So you're gonna add in your carrots and the celery salt. Then you're gonna add your broccoli. It's gonna seem like you don't have enough sauce for the broccoli, but broccoli releases moisture as it cooked. So as you can see, plenty of sauce. Go ahead and add your chicken and you're gonna set this off to the side so that it can cool while you make your pie crusts. So I'm gonna roll my pie dough out in about, I'm gonna say like, an eighth of an inch thickness. You wanna make sure to work quickly because it's important to keep pie dough cool. Um, like I said earlier, I put too much water in this, so I wasn't really that invested in the pies because I was not happy with the dough. Um, but you wanna make sure that when you're cutting out your circles, you wanna make sure that it's you know about an inch bigger than the pie pan's diameter for the inside or the bottom layer of the pie. And then the top layer, you can cut kind of exactly the diameter of the pie pan. Um, you want the inside circle to be bigger so that you can press it into the sides of your pot pie. As soon as you cut out your pie dough um, or the circles, you're gonna wanna go ahead and make the pot pies, like press them down into the pie pins and then throw those in the refrigerator to chill while you cut out and make the other pies. You don't want your pie dough to get too warm. I'm filling each pot pie with about a cup of the filling. I did have some left over, I always do, but I don't mind that. You wanna put your top round on and press it into the rim, the outer edge of that pie pan so that it seals and then crimp it with a fork. You can cut the excess dough off of the edges of your pot pies with kitchen shears or a knife. I don't always do that because I like those little bits of crunchy pie crust around the edge, but it does look neater. Um, then you're gonna brush them with egg wash, which is just a beaten egg with a little bit of water, and bake them at 375 for about 20 minutes. And then voila, you're all done. So yeah, my pie crust could have been better, but this was freaking delicious, so I was happy. 
As always, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.